to devolve into that particular Reddit circle jerk. Well, we're getting demonetized, boys. Let's go! Nazi gear for sale at Florida Motorcycle Rally. Florida Bender says it's not racist. Bike Tober stand sells hats embroidered with swastikas and skull and bones logos used by the SS. So it's not even like fucking pirate shit, skull and bones. It's just that old video of like, are we the baddies? And the answer is yes. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Daytona Beach, Florida. A vendor at a major motorcycle rally in Florida briefly sold hats emblazoned with Nazi symbols, saying she considered them a tribute to World War II veterans who helped defeat the Germans. So, like, was this memorabilia your granddaddy brought back from the Nazis he scalped? I'm confused. The Daytona Beach News Journal reports that the vendor was selling the hats embroidered with swastikas and the Skull and Bones logo used by the Nazi SS during, at a stand during Biketober, an ongoing festival that draws thousands of bikers to the Daytona Beach area this month. The vendor said she sold the hats at other biker rallies around the country without complaint. The woman also sells rings, wallet chains, and hats without Nazi logos. Doesn't mean what people think, says the vendor, who would only give her name as Jen. Of course, it's a white woman. Moving on. A lot of people don't know the history, so they label me as a racist, which is not true at all. Marvin Miller, president of the Jewish Federation of Volusia and Flagler counties, expressed weary resignation at the items' of sale. Just a shame in this day and age, Miller told the News Journal. It never stops. We just have to deal with that and just remember that we all still in America. Uh, unfortunately, people abuse some of the wonderful rights we have and use it, take it to extremes to spread propaganda. Jonathan Davis. Okay, I know it's not the singer for the band Korn, but I'm just imagining it's the singer for the band Korn. Whose photos of the merchandise posted Thursday on the Facebook first noted at sale, and he said that while, he, that while Americans could disagree on the politics, there were an agreement that Nazi imagery had no place in society. It's absolutely disgusting to see a vendor selling Nazi and SS gear, but it's even worse when the only reason they would do so is because people are actually buying it. Fair. Fuck Nazis. The owner of the property where Jenny is selling the goods ordered her to be remo to remove the Nazi, re uh, Nazi merchandise, and she complied. Also, I just realized this is the Times of Israel, a totally unbiased source. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and I'm just going to move on from that because I'm already digging my hole too deep. But hey, at least she's just, at least she's an ignorant moron and not a deliberately malicious moron who just decided, oh, okay, let's not do that. And then she got rid of it when asked. If you're going to sell shit like that, sell American World War II memorabilia, not Nazi shit. Why would you be selling Nazi shit? Ugh. Yeah, someone bitching about Biketoberfest, which... I mean, I've attended Biketoberfest. Yeah, he's 100% right. You can't go two months without a slow Harley going by revving their engine. He didn't want to say it was a tribute to our World War II veterans. It was a tribute to somebody's World War II veterans. I think she considered it a tribute to World War II veterans who helped defeat the Germans. I don't think she knows which side the Nazis were on. I mean, this guy does have a point about how the Iron Cross and German helmets have been a part of the Hells Angels look since the beginning. And not only that, the Iron Cross specifically, while famously used by the Nazis, not only predates them as a military award of honor, it is still used to this day by the German military. I'm not sure if the helmets are the same, but the Iron Cross specifically is still a thing. I believe it's the German equivalent of like the Purple Heart, though I could be wrong on that. I don't remember specifically. 
Hell's Angels were literally started by men coming back from World War II, missing the camaraderie, and feeling like they didn't fit in normal society anymore, so they formed groups of like-minded individuals, and among them, they glorified the trophies of the war many of them came back with. No one ever accused the Nazis of being smart. I mean, this guy raises a good point, and this guy just completely had it go over his head. A Futurama reference. Actually, eh, I miss Futurama. Futurama was a good show. I'd like to make a tr toast to the troops. All the troops. Both sides. I don't know who Ryan Howard is, but I feel like that's a joke I should be getting. How the good old Confederate traitor logic. Blah, blah, blah. Wank, wank, wank. Cry about it. Next to all the MAGA merch. Fuck off. See what I mean? Reddit will always find a way to complain about Trump and the, his fucking supporters, even though he's been politically irrelevant for a while now. He's not coming back. He's not running in 2024. 